You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. By going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com, you can make this possible. Uh, I'm still stuck on TV back. I, I'm still, I, I'm still. No, I, 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 I there's, I, I'm still stuck on that whole deal. I'm just letting y'all know right now, whole show, whole morning show would have stopped. <laughs> Whole morning show would have stopped. We, 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 we would have had a we would have had uh, a come to Jesus moment right there. <laughs> Church would have commenced right there. Uh, and I just and and, and advertisers on hold. <laughs> and the thing that people need that people need to understand is that what what we are dealing with in America, we're still dealing with people who see us that way. Mm-hmm. You would never. I guarantee you, TV Becky would never say to the woman doing the weather, if a woman doing the weather, oh, that pig look like you. Nope. Wouldn't have happened. Wouldn't have happened. And for people out there who somehow think, well, well, these things really no big deal, no, this is the reality of being black in America. Serena Williams last night Mm. just beat, beat the... Just Great. dog stomped mm-hmm. M- Maria Sharapova. And Serena Williams and Venus Williams have had to deal with people questioning their sexuality mm-hmm. because of their size. Oh, mm-hmm. look, look how big they are, muscular, look like men. All those different things. Radio talk show hosts mm-hmm. have said some of the most nasty and vile things. We are still dealing with that in this country. It is because in America... For the last 400 years, black people have been compared to animals. We have been seen as that. And what she and and her, oh, it it was, oh, see, it was innocuous. It was just a moment of laughter. No, that is how we have been portrayed in mass media for four centuries. And we need to understand that whole view. And so when people look at us, and this is why I tell people all the time, don't ask my ass if I played football because you see me wearing Texas A&M gear. Because what you're doing there is you're saying that when I see a black man Mm -hmm. wearing the gear of a major university, surely he must have played football. Mm. See, we need to understand how deeply embedded this thing is in the consciousness of the country. So when somebody sees us and they go, oh, you must have played football, what they're really saying is the only way you could have gone to that university sports, is through sports. Not because you wanted to be a lawyer or an entrepreneur or a doctor or a dentist or whatever. No, 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 no. You were there because of sports. And so same thing. Oh, that looks like you. You told a black man, Yoko Hanka, he looked like a gorilla? <sighs> we need to understand how that has the psyche on black people, which is why you got black people who are running around want, wanting blonde hair because America has said the beauty standard is a blonde, uh, is a blonde woman. The folks who wear, change their eyes. When you go to now, you go to these African nations where skin lightning cream oh, is selling like crazy, bleaching their skin. Hell, Sammy Sosa went from a black man to a white man. You have to understand the power of white skin, on the consciousness of people of color. We have been assaulted with that in this country for 400 years and other places for a very long time. And so don't try to act like it's not a big deal when it is. All right, folks, back to our Roller Martin Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, you heard me talk a lot about MarijuanaStock.org. Why? Because I want to keep you informed of investment opportunities that make sense. We've all watched the growth of the cannabis industry. A recent report by New Frontier Data estimates the global cannabis market at over $340 billion. We know that marijuana legalization is sweeping the country state by state. We also know that marijuana has a good cousin, the hemp plant, with a much higher concentration of CBD. That means hemp gives you all the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Now, until recently, hemp farming was practically legal in the U.S. and heavily regulated by the DEA. However, the 2018 Farm Bill changed all of that, making it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S., creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. 
Folks, they need land to grow all of the plants, and that's where our good friends at 420 Real Estate come in. Their business model is simple. They buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. That's right. They are hemp CBD landlords. You can get in on the action. My friends at 420 Real Estate decided to do something special for the Roland Martin Unfiltered family. Originally, the minimum investment level was 500 bucks. Right now, you can invest in this crowdfunding campaign for as little as $200. That's right. 200 bucks up to $10,000. So you have a growing industry where you can get in for as little as $200. To invest, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org. Get in the game and you can get in the game now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered Fit.